And you know, you can see the influences right away. Some use more sugar for caramelization. Others rely on longer stewing for a more gravy-like sauce. Uh, the only thing they really have in common is garlic rice. Uh, beyond that, adobo in Chicago is subject to a lot of interpretation. Foot traffic is a lot lighter at the Chicago French market these days, and a taste of the Philippines is a blink-and-you'll-miss-it kiosk there. But owner Kathy Vega Hardy makes everything from scratch, like her hand-rolled lumpia. And when it comes to adobo, it's front and center on the menu. Adobo is a very classic dish. It's probably one of the most well-known dishes in, in the Philippines. It's a chicken or pork, and it's simmered in soy sauce, vinegar, Lots and lots of garlics, bay leaves, and uh, peppercorns. Served over garlic rice, the chicken legs get a light shower of fried garlic and some fresh scallions. The acidity with the salt, and then you include that with the rice, oh, it's so good. Like nearly everyone's adobo recipe, it's inspired by the one her mother gave her. It's kind of like gravy-like, so that's how I was influenced to make my recipe kind of like hers, but kind of different. In Ukrainian village, Kasama opened during the pandemic as well, mostly takeout at first. They now have a patio for outdoor dining in back. The owners came from fine dining in Oriole's kitchen, so no surprise they're making everything from scratch, including their traditional Filipino breakfast of homemade longanitsa sausage and Tocino, a cured barbecued pork. Each are served with garlic rice, paired with tart pickled green papaya and a fried egg. But their adobo, made exclusively with chicken wings that are first marinated, then seared over a blazing hot binchotan charcoal grill, is a revelation. Uh, originally, it consisted of whatever protein, garlic, and vinegar. And then with Chinese traders, uh, that's when the introduction of soy sauce came in. So there's basically three ingredients to every adobo. It's uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and garlic. Flores also adds some fried garlic, echoing the garlic rice next to it. We add a little bit of sugar in ours. It makes it a little different. And then we uh, make sort of a, a adobo seasoning to help with that uh, acidic flavor to bring that out. He says mom's recipes played a large role in the development of his menu, even though his training and previous experience is more high end. Everything that we're cooking here is uh, pretty much inspired by the food that I grew up eating. Now, the menu is so good at Kasama, really, really focused. And you have to try one of Jeannie Kwan's pastries or desserts. So in an effort to showcase those, I've got a web-only extra course today talking to her about some of those highlights, including a show-stopping hollow hollow for dessert. More information. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.